dude, what? What's up with the uh, mind of Jake Paul? <laughs> <laughs> it's a big old documentary on YouTube right now. Big documentary extravaganza. It's, it's one of the biggest media events of the last uh, century, I'd say. Shane Dawson's documentary about the mind of Jake Paul, which I could give less, less than two shits about. But I, you don't give less than two shits about it because... I could give less than two shits. You couldn't. I couldn't give less than two shits. I, al- that, I used to do that all the time. Also, I was like, man, I could care less. And all of a sudden, I'm like... Wait a second. Oh, I've been saying it wrong this whole time. I couldn't care less. Oh, shit. I've been, yeah, I have been saying it wrong. It just rolls off better without the mm. I could care less. I couldn't care. Yeah. Well, they got to throw that mm in there, that, that hard mm. mm. English fucking blows. Ryan, I want to talk about something very serious. Um, Ebola. A little more serious than Ebola. Okay. Uh, it's very tragic, actually. Uh, rapper Lil Xan. Uh, was hospitalized because he overdosed on hot Cheetos. I've never heard Lil Xan. He, uh, you're not. Who is Lil Xan? Much. He's a rapper. Uh, he's one of those. Uh, is it spelled like Xanax? Zan, like like Xanax. He was uh, oh, that why he named himself yep. Little Xan? Yep, Xanarchy. He uh <laughs> he he had to go to the hospital because he ate too many hot. How Cheetos. old is this kid? He looks pretty young. He was dating uh Noah Cyrus, which is Miley Cyrus's younger sister, and it's uh oh man, let me so see. He's a he's a young kid and he's like <laughs> Xanax. Is Lil, that like his, is that his thing that he's just kind of? Well, no, uh, he quit Xanax. Apparently, he's twenty two. Uh, oh, he's younger than me. He, uh, I think he, um, quit Xanax after, uh, Lil Peep died. So, uh, I mean, good for him. I mean, Xanax is a, it's a dangerous drug. So, you should only take it if your doctor recommends it to you. And you should not take and it. And even then, be questionable and be like, is there anything else? Possibly, maybe, just in case? Yeah, careful with Xanax, guys, for real, because that's, a uh, Highly addictive. Highly addictive, and also, uh, it's pretty easy to, uh, to, to get very addicted, but also, uh, you can overdose on it. And also... You can um, overdose on a lot of things. Not marijuana. No, yeah, that you, you actually could overdose on marijuana. But what you'd have to smoke like two thousand, two thousand joints in like yeah, an hour, something like that, bro. I know, I know what we're doing after the show tonight. What we're gonna try to overdose on marijuana. We're gonna smoke two thousand joints. Okay. Dun 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 dun. That's a news update. Oh, okay, I was trying. I was like, I was like, is this something I'm supposed to know? Is this song? No, 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 no. What's no. the news update? Mr. Cosby's dead. He might as well be. <laughs> he might as well be. He's in. He's in state prison. I. I he didn't even. Get, he didn't get one of those like private millionaire prisons. He just went to straight up regular prison. Is it bad to say like one hundred percent? He deserves to go away for like the rest of his life, and he deserved to go away way before this. Not bad. But there's something instinctually in me seeing a blind old man walk into jail. Like with a walking stick and shit, and like he, he's like overweight and he's bloated because he's so old now. I'm just like, there's a part of me that's like, oh, but then I'm like, oh wait, that's Bill Cosby. He did all that shit. <laughs> like, like as an old man, it's like, damn, that's so weird seeing someone go away. That's just this old fuck. It's like it's like you think of like the Cosby Show era, and he's like America's dad, and you're like, oh, and then you're like, wait a second, he's a rapist. <laughs> it's like when they took the Nazi. It's like when they sent the Nazi back home. This old man that was like in a hospital or hooked up to machines or something. It's like we like kicked him out of the country. We did some, He left the United States. Yeah, he got kicked out. And like in my head, I'm like that. He's just an old like little man. And then you're like, wait a second, <laughs> wait a second, he's, he's a, a fucking Nazi. I know he's a fucking Nazi. He's dude. a piece of shit. I know people are probably gonna defend him in the comments, going, "No, he was he was only following orders, <laughs> just just following orders, <laughs> just, just like, like we're Cosby. following, just like we're following oh. orders to read these ad reads." Yeah, is this a good? Is this a good? Maybe we shouldn't transition with that. We'll no, it's fine. I think no, 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 no. That. I don't think me is a cool. No, brand. I don't think they're gonna want us to transition with that. Okay, you you like Skittles? Skittles are bright and tasty, right? What else is bright and tasty? Me undies. There we go. <laughs> okay. I like. To, I want to make like a short animated film about like this dude who starts vaping and all of his friends make fun of him because vaping's funny and you're a tool if you vape. Yeah. And he was just got done. He just got done like smoking like a pack a day and he's really trying to turn his life around. So he buys this new vape and he likes it. So he takes it to work and shows all of his friends and they all start laughing at him. Even his wife's like, "Oh, what? You're you look like a douchebag." And so one stormy night, he chucks it in the garbage and the screen cracks because he got one of those fancy ones with a screen. Yeah. And all of a sudden it flickers and then slowly fades to a death. And then he goes back on his porch with an umbrella and lights up a cigarette. Cut to hospital bed. Ooh. Oh my God. All because you made fun of vapists. (laughs) 
<laughs> vapists? Yeah. Why does nobody call people who vape vapists? Where, where else is it? Vapors? Vapor. Like, I like vapists. Vapists. Vapists is great. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Is that like has, has you had to have that's I've never heard vapists before. <laughs> That's great. Should that be the title of this podcast? Vapists, sure. Just yeah. a couple of vapists. Just a couple of vapists. We um, I, I feel like we're just losing subscribers the more we vape and talk about vaping because like now we're out of the ironic phase of it and it's just like yeah, dude, vaping and it's like everyone's just like you guys yeah. are fucking tools. What about it? Well, I just bought one, so hopefully I can slow see, down on the cigarette. See, Ryan has a full. That story was was related to me. No one made fun of me, but I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, as a, as an author and director such as me, um, I tend to draw off of life experience to tell my stories. I think I could probably carry your weight. Okay. I could probably, honestly, I bet I can carry you on my back right now. I, I know, I think you could, but I don't think it would be fun for you. I could do it. I know we you could try it right now. Do you want to? Let's try it. Let's see if I can. I gave I, you an out just there. I know, but you the, seemed very excited to have me on your back. The so audience I mean, can't see. All right, let's get on my back. Let's on. here. Let me turn the mic towards more towards where people can hear the react. All right, whatever. All right, ready? You ready? All right, dude, are you get scared? on my back. Yeah, let's do it. Come on. You're gonna feel my nuts on your back. I well, maybe you shouldn't wear gym shorts. That is true. All Tell right. me if you can feel my nuts. Okay, go. Ah, I got you on my back. I'm dude. gonna do. I'm doing a lap around the room. Doing a lap around the room. Ah, fuck. Matt, I'm 200 something pounds. I got you, dude. Dude, I'm going around the room. This is a workout. Fuck, fuck, dude. I'm going. Okay. And putting you down. Nice. I did it. I did it, ladies and gentlemen. I was like a horse. I just carried Ryan on my back. I piggybacked him all the way around the room. And those who have ridden horses know it's not comfortable. It is not. Let's talk about what happened yesterday when we were in my car. Uh, we were driving <laughs> around, and I was like, "Hey, I need to park." Let's not hide. Let's not hide the fact we. we we were going to get me a vape. We were going to get Ryan a vape. Um, and maybe it was the universe saying, stop it. But uh, it wants me to keep smoking cigarettes. It, it does. There was a diagonal parking spot. And um, I, was, I was whipping. Mm -hmm. I was whipping the whip into the parking spot. And um, a very high, like, foot tall. It was a, it was a really tall curb. Mm -hmm. Like, incredibly tall curb. And I just overshot it. And I just smashed my car right into the curb. Can I say from my perspective, you pulled into that parking spot pretty fast i did and i was like i was like huh i was like you usually you'd, you'd go a little slower i really did you like hit the gas to go into it instead of the brakes like did you did you make something up there i will say that uh perhaps i did uh go a little too fast in that parking spot <laughs> um and and i just some smashed steam came out some I steam. smashed my car into the curb your AC's gone right yep and uh steam Where, where's the AC fluid I don't know steam exploded out in of the, the front of my car bumper? I I cracked the front bumper of my car in half and then steam shot out and now my AC doesn't work so if anybody knows uh I haven't gotten it to, I haven't like taken my car in yet but if anybody can maybe explain what's up so when I take it in I can explain better uh, it was the front right bumper um underneath the light and it just shot on a Honda Civic and it just shot shot pfft, shot the steam out um, so, should have taken uh, my car yeah we should have taken your car and then that wouldn't have happened you know Ryan if you had just decided to keep smoking cigarettes that wouldn't have happened well I still smoke cigarettes less cigarettes less cigarettes hey, that's, a, that's a stat less <laughs> cigarettes you know I do have to apologize uh, for something that I said in the last episode of the podcast uh oh um, what, what did you say Ryan were you not woke well, I, no, I accidentally got concave and convex mixed up, and people pointed that out, and I got a lot of, you know, don't talk about something unless you actually know what you're saying comments. Damn, that's harsh. Yeah. About that's a pretty easy about thing. About concave to... and convex, after all. Guys, yeah. we're, we're college dropouts. You can't expect us to nail it every single time. Yeah. You know? This, well, is, this isn't the Crowder Hour. We're not doing our research here. I'm sorry, guys. Right, well, you know what? Ryan's not just apologizing. Super Mega as a company is apologizing to on all of- On behalf of Ryan McGee. All, all, yeah, on behalf of Ryan <laughs> McGee. To all of the listeners for Ryan confusing concave and convex. I can't believe you'd be so fucking stupid as to confuse the two. Are there a lot of people now, like, they've, find, they've been built up so long and now they can finally come. Yeah. Now that I've apologized and- They can finally bust, bust that nut. My wrongs have been righted. But Ryan, do you- if they've been righted, let's see. What? No, I don't. I don't want to get into it. It's which? Fine. What is concave? Huh? What's concave and what's convex? Huh? Which one's which? Um, 
con concave is the one where it goes inward because it's like a cave. Exactly. Convex is where it's like just outward an outward curve. Fantastic. You know Everyone, Ryan McGee is right at his wrongs. Um, so we can all rejoice now. Yeah. Ryan is no longer canceled. Thank you, Ryan. I got a little game we're gonna play. It's a fun little game show I made just for Matt. It's called Whose Culture is the Best? Okay, Matt. What you're the, you're you're the next contestant. I can't wait to play, Ryan. So whose culture is the best? We got we got the Aztecs over here. Wait, am I comparing culture? To the right, yeah. We got Aztecs to the right, your left. And then over here, we have Hawaii. The Hawaiians. I'm gonna have to go with Hawaii on this one just because I, I think okay. Hawaiian culture is very cool. I like the I like the Okay. I like tropical stuff. Very interesting. Aztecs cut a, lot, cut a lot of people's heads off and kicked them downstairs. Not that it gets the Aztecs. Yeah. They also ripped out people's hearts. They did a lot of that. And Hawaii just seems fun and tropical. Yeah. There's a lot of just ripping stuff out of people and kicking them down some steps in Aztec culture. Aztecs, was that ne was that necessary? Did okay. you have to do that? Are you ready for round two? Okay. Round two. Hawaiians versus? Hawaiians versus the Greek. Hawaiian Greece. still. I, Hawaiian I mean, still. Greek culture is cool, but I think Hawaiian culture still. It's got. I really, I really love Hawaii. I've okay. never been, but I love Hawaiian stuff. So okay. I'm still gonna go with Hawaii. Greek is a little boring to me. Okay, okay, okay. You got, you got three more rounds, Matt. Okay. We got now the next one. Hawaii. Okay. Taiwan. Oh man, Taiwanese culture. Tai see, Taiwanese culture is pretty fucking cool. I do have to say, like, they didn't Tai Fung? Like, think about it. Thai uh, uh, Taiwan. I've I've always wanted to go. Mm -hmm. Um, but if I had to pick Taiwan or Hawaii, that's tricky, man. I'm still saying Hawaii, dude. Damn, Hawaii. Hawaiian okay. culture. Okay. Hawaii. Okay. Or African culture. Why? Why you gotta? Th Which one's better? Why? Why are we playing this game, Ryan? Which one's better, man? You want to put me in? You want to put me in some hot water here? None of them are white, so you. It's better. It's good either way. You're supporting African you're supporting culture is so broad. Culture. Okay. S Somali culture. Hawaiian. <gasps> I don't know anything <laughs> yeah, about Somali yeah, yeah. culture. Okay. I instantly, like Hawaii versus Japan. Oh, I mean, well, now you're just get people are just gonna make fun of me because I'm gonna say Japan. <gasps> I'm saying Hawaii. Okay, Japan versus South Africa. I'm saying Hawaii. Before the apartheid. What? 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 The culture was different. Um, well, I don't know anything about <laughs> pre-apartheid South African culture. Sounds like someone doesn't do their research on Africa. Well, I didn't know you were going to ask me these questions. Hmm. Ryan, hmm. this has nothing to do with, with race or anything. I just, I, I don't know anything <laughs> about South Africa. Don't do the beta male smile at me. <laughs> Please help. He's <laughs> just you doing it back, motherfucker. Okay, so th thank you for playing that. Thank, thank you. you for playing. I loved playing that game. Which culture's better? With Matt Watson. We'll bring the game show back later, I'm sure. <laughs> it just sounds so like not okay. Which culture's better? <laughs> Hawaii Hawaii won up until the end. Who could have guessed that Japan would have won over Hawaii? No, I said Hawaii over Japan. Did you? Mm-hmm. It's a lie. As a host, you didn't even pay attention to my answers, right? Yeah, but I knew you were lying. I said Hawaii. You'd rather go to Japan than Hawaii. Um, I've been I've been to Japan a handful of times now, but I've never been to Hawaii. I've always wanted to go to Hawaii. Okay, you can only visit Japan or Hawaii. If you visit one, you can't visit the other okay, for the rest Japan, of your life. Then. See, it won. I knew it. You were Playing lying. To mind me. games with me, Ryan. You're, You're making lying me lying to me. I just I I have such a fun time every time I go to Japan. It's so quaint. I can't go back to Japan after the grease fire. Yeah, that was a nightmare for you. I can go to Hawaii though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you? Were you ever good at like throwing a pocket knife into a tree? I was mm. really good at that. No, my dad taught me how to like throw it so it all, the blade always goes in to the tree. How does it always go in? How do you throw it? I don't remember anymore. I just remember I was good at. I go camping. I would just. How be, are you supposed to? I'd be chucking my blade, chucking my little switch knife, just whoosh, whoosh, go right in the tree. I threw it right into my dad's neck once. He's still around. No. Oh, shit. Got infected. Well. Yeah. It was an accident, though, so I was cleared by the police. But it, ha it happens. Yeah. A lot of stuff happens with your dad, like the zoo incident of 1983. Yeah, well, I would prefer if we didn't talk about that on the podcast. Hippo fucking. Okay. He fucked a hippo. Okay. My dad fucked a hippo at the zoo. 
He was high on PCP, climbed over the thing, fucked a hippo. whoop de doo it's, It was very embarrassing for my family, brought a lot of shame upon my entire family, and we don't like to talk about it. But mistakes are made in the past. Are people not capable of change, Ryan? I'm sorry for bringing that up. I, I know. I'm sorry. Could you cut it out, please? I mean, I think you're, you've got this one. Matt, remember to cut this part out. Because it's going to bring back a lot of memories to your family that you don't want to have brought back. So make sure not you're not as just... as bad as the petting zoo incident of 1985. Two years later. Cut that out as well, Matt. Because if you're just passively listening, listening and you're texting right now and not paying attention to what you're editing, really... Matt, cut this out. Anyway, uh, I think it's time for an ad read. Okay. Ryan, what if I just spit water all over you right now? I'd do this. As self-defense. And it would stink up the whole room. And we'd have to leave. <laughs> don't, don't spit water at Matt if you do Matt it's not going to be fun for you oh that smells bad <laughs> hmm? nothing it's fine <laughs> huh? don't make me uh. <laughs> don't do Matt if you do it I'm, I'm going to do it god damn it Mother <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay oh. Ryan why did you- Ow, dude, what the fuck? It's, Why did you it, do that? It's self-defense, Matt. I'm like a skunk. Gotta leave the room now. Well, we'll- we'll- we'll be right back after this short message. Ah, fucking hell, I just tried to open the door and I slammed my face and my glasses into the door. Hey guys, this is a message we recorded after the podcast to fill this silence. Um, I spit water on Ryan and in self-defense he, uh, he farted like a four-year-old um and it was so bad we had to leave the recording room because this is a very stuffy room and ryan uh has a very bad dietary habit so when he does this it's never pleasant um and in fact it's so bad that we have to leave the room so i apologize to all you mature listeners that don't want to listen to a podcast that has a lot of haha funny poo poo humor um and unfortunately it was just how this episode unfolded and we'd like to apologize um super mega officially would like to apologize for this as well um, we don't like making the funny haha fart jokes, but when Ryan legitimately decides to do that on the podcast, we have to, um, we have no choice but to, uh, leave the room. Um, it's just unfortunately how the situation unfolded. Again, we're so sorry. And, uh, let's get back to the podcast now. Um, my turn to play a game or are we going to play a game together? We're play a game together. Okay. We're back everybody. Ryan and I were taking a little stroll. Okay. Yeah. And we when walked was into this? yesterday. <laughs> Why are you being so defensive about it? Dude, we were taking a stroll. He's off, and we're we go into a gas station. Oh yeah, and we, we never address. We had never even talked about this after it happened. <coughs> there, that woman in the gas station. She's a regular there. Her facial. There was a there was a, a a a large woman there with tribal facial tattoos. Her whole face tribal facial tattoos. That's dope. And then she was like, I forgot my glasses. Yeah, she was trying to get like ice. Did you press three minutes? No, she was like, could you press three minutes on this microwave so I could heat up my breakfast? She's but she was like, I don't have my glasses, please. (laughs) Help someone help me. She was covered in tribal tattoos. Like, but not like the cool kind. It did not look good. Last last time I saw her, she blew a snot rocket out of her nose. Really? Yeah. That seems to fit like what (laughs) you look at her once and you're like, oh, okay. So that that fits with like what I saw. Whenever that happens, I'm like, oh man. Cause like it's like you you'd think it's like oh this is the type of person to blow a snot rocket out but i wanted to like be surprised if she walks out and like fucking plays cello like a champ or something but no <laughs> she just she's got those snot rockets and she went to like her breakfast that's, that's so true <laughs> you see somebody doing something like competent that's like above like an average level of competence you're like oh okay i trust this person <laughs> I know. And, but when she walks out with her like Tribal tattoos and then just blows like a massive snot rocket out <laughs> well, of The thing nose. was, it didn't come out the first time. It was one of those where it was like, <laughs> <laughs> why would you do that when there's people like around? It took that one final one. <laughs> then <laughs> I've right never, out. I don't think I've ever even blown one. I, I it feels good. I don't have the like strength. I've only ever done it in the shower. I don't have the strength. Like my, my, I don't have the nasal strength to like projectile I think you something. Could. I think you're just nervous. <laughs> no, it, it, I, I, I've never been able to do it. You it just blown kind of your sprays nose? out. I blow my nose. That's what happens when you blow your nose. That's a snot rocket. But if I if I try to do a snot rocket, it's just gonna kind of like, you know, go down my face. It's because gonna, you don't have a booger. It's because you're nervous. You need a dry, you good old spherical power. booger in there. I I, I have I have stage fright with blowing <laughs> snot rocket. You know, at the next trunk drawing live, I'll go on stage and I'll blow one into the audience. <laughs> Aaron gave me the strength to do this. <laughs> Very excited. But can you tell? I don't know if Aaron knows the story. Can you tell him the story 
of the Jack Daniels and the the cheddar cheese because it's a great story. Oh. I love. Have this I story. told you? It's not even there's that big of a payoff. It's no, just it's disgusting just funny. and sad. <laughs> That's all it is. It's like people in the podcast, whenever like if it's their first time hearing the story, it's always like, oh, this is gonna be good. Cheese and Jack Daniels, but we, then like I tell it, and it's like, oh, Jesus Christ, like, that's disgusting. <laughs> Fuck. Like, okay, we'll we'll gauge it by your reaction, okay. Aaron. Uh, okay. So one night I was, I was just not in the mood, and I and I was I was in my feelings, as Drake would say. Um, <laughs> Were you doing the dance? <laughs> yeah, I was crying and doing the Drake dance. <laughs> um, so I, I chugged like half a bottle of Jack Daniels. And that's a lot of liquor. That is a lot. That is yeah. that, that is an intense like 40%, amount of liquor, right? Yeah. yeah, and then I. Um, Cut a block of cheese that my family had downstairs because I wanted them to have some fashion. cheese. I didn't want to eat the whole cheese. I'm a big cheese fan, by the way. Uh-huh. Like I always have my fridge stocked with. Oh, cheese. when I when I, when I lived fan. with him, the, it was just he was eating cheese nonstop. <laughs> we go to the, like every time we go to the store, it was open a the problem. Fridge, it would be like stocked with cheese with the like, Cracker Barrel <laughs> cheese. He had his own drawer that like. Like no one, like no, I wouldn't put anything in. It was just a drawer just for Ryan's cheese. I'm not kidding. Like he had his own cheese drawer in the fridge. He ate that much cheese. Come around the corner. Every time I opened up the trash Ryan! can, I'm not. <laughs> no. You, you, you would open up our trash can. It would just be like filled with cheese wrappers. Like it, like so much cheese. It was good. I like cheese. I can't. I don't no, know. Can't, no one, no one so, can fault you for that. So I cut this block of cheese in half. Yeah. And I'm drunk, and I'm like, I don't feel. I, I'm afraid I'm gonna cut myself with a knife. So I just start, like eating it. Like Just a candy like, bar. Like a candy but bar. It's <laughs> <laughs> this is back when I was in college. Yeah. Probably first year of college or something. Yeah. Like that. And then everything and, but was I, okay, I, right? I was not well, this wasn't even a part of the college experience. I was just home upstairs by myself. You weren't at some like kick-ass major <laughs> no. you were just by well, yourself. I mean, if I was at a party eating a block of cheese like a candy bar, I don't think that would be a good image. Just well. standing in the corner with a bottle of Jack Daniels <laughs> and a block of cheddar cheese eating it like a chocolate bar. Just like, hey, hey, look at that guy. Hey, oh my god, is that Ryan? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you look so cool right now. <laughs> I'm like, yep. <laughs> I probably man. poke a hole in the cheese, put a cigarette in there. So I can double task. <laughs> but so I'm eating this block of cheese and everything's going fine. I'm like, ah, I'm going to, I'm going to fall asleep now. And so I fall asleep. And the next thing I know, I'm opening my eyes and you know what the shape of fountain makes? It goes straight up and then it kind of mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. I wake up to that image of throw up and then it falling <laughs> down onto my face. <laughs> and then I then I lean over the couch and I throw up more and I'm like, <laughs> like that, like violent throw up. And so like I throw up like on the floor and like there's throw up on me and like on my pillow. But I'm so drunk and exhausted from this experience that I just fall back asleep. <laughs> <laughs> in my own filth. So I wake up with like, it's in like my hair. A little so what ear, happens? With like just dried cheddar cheese vomit with like the Jack Daniels kind of scent a little bit. <laughs> See, was, you're you're was, lucky though because that's a, a lot of people die. Like, you're lucky you woke up. No, yeah, they so that's choke the on thing. Vomit, like, yeah. It's a funny story, but that's legitimately like, that could have been a your coin, death. I'm dead or I'm alive. <laughs> flip a coin, it's a funny, haha, I threw up all over myself or... Oh God! Like Ryan, well, depending on the person. Yeah, true. imagine it's if you all... told some like some middle-aged woman from the south, she'd be like, "Oh my lord, <laughs> yeah, you almost killed yourself." Oh my lord, that's disgusting. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta get that bread, gamers. And by bread, I mean a girlfriend. But, but not, not don't, don't be creepy about it. You yeah. know, if they, respect the boundaries. And if they reject you, then you have permission to like curse them out and like. Get cre- let's stalk them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, that's all. That's well, what. That's what I've seen online. That's what I've seen people. Yeah, do, so. yeah, yeah. Well, no, that's no, 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 no. Wait, what? You don't do that. That's wait, funny. you don't? No, that's fucked up. You don't go. You, Every girl that's wait, ever wait, rejected wait, wait, wait. me. Wait, so you're saying okay? So I, I was talking to this. I was talking to this girl here, and I was like, hey, uh, do you want to go get some coffee? And she was like, hey, I'm sorry, I'm just not comfortable seeing anyone right now. And I was like, whatever, you dumb slut, bitch, stupid bitch, bitch. Was saying that wrong? I was there. Well, he you did that. Well, it's first of all, it wasn't very creative. I said, You're a little slutty slut, slut. And then she went, <laughs> Well, that's, she didn't respond to me or anything. Well, it's funny because it's actually the opposite. If she refused you, she's not what? She's, she's not being traditionally slutty. What? No, that just means if she doesn't want me, that just means she's having sex with every guy on earth. Yeah, it means she's just, she's, she's whoring herself out, right? Well, I mean, that's very presumptuous. (laughs) I love that just, oh, wow, okay. I like how, like, (laughs) someone having this conversation is like, 
uh, say that your brain's working that way, okay? <laughs> we should we should do like a like a show where we give like dating advice, but Ryan and I are just like two incels, <laughs> and Aaron being like the married one always has to like steer us in the right direction. Where we like like someone like calls in with advice, and we just give them the worst fucking dating advice, and then Aaron's just kind of like, yeah, that that's kind of like. I mean, that's not what I would do. Yeah. But well, I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, here's just, another perspective. Just the, the voice rises a little. Ah. Just, uh, just maybe consider this one. James from Cincinnati says that I really like a girl, and I've asked her out twice. She said no both times. Um, what do I do? Should I give up? James, never give up. Be, per and be more persistent than ever. In fact, yeah. you should start writing her more letters. In fact, you should probably show up to her house and every time, here, here's what girls like. So a whole thing about flirting is you got to be mean. So yeah. the more she rejects you, Go. you just got to be more mean to her. And if oh. it doesn't work too far, you can like also guilt her with your mental health to make it so that she feels like attached in a way of like, oh, I better not do anything. Yeah, say like if like she rejects you, you'll hurt yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, um, maybe here's another perspective that you could try. Okay. Uh, what was your name? Charles? James. James? James. 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 Sorry, I got your name wrong. James. Uh, maybe just be respectful. Of her space and uh, time, and uh, if she says no, then you know that's the end of it. And yeah, so that's a that's a that's another option. I Never guess. worked for but, me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do whatever you think. Oh well, yeah, it doesn't. That's fine work because it respects her. That's perspective fine. That's and, your opinion. Yeah. Well, I mean, women aren't objects. To I don't think one. that works. Okay. But our, sorry, our next one comes from Arthur from what is this? Sorry, New York. His handwriting's bad. And Arthur says. I have killed the past three women that I have been attracted to. Okay, Arthur. And, uh, no, go on. on go, go ahead and read it. Our, yeah. Let's get our. So, sorry, I didn't mean. First. I didn't mean to uh, interrupt. Let's let's see what Arthur okay. has to say. He Arthur. says, "I have killed the last three <laughs> women I have been interested in. I really like this fourth one, but I'm afraid she'll end up like the others yeah. because I don't like, I don't like the fact that she doesn't like me the way that I think that I want her to like me sometimes." Did he put like an address, like a specific, like a like a right back address or something? Do you, now you want to dox people on air? Well, no, I'm not gonna. No, no, no I'm not gonna dox him or anything. I just feel like we could maybe. You're a little out of your element today, so uh, I'm gonna step in and I'm gonna say that <laughs> Arthur, I think you don't want to have to kill this girl, obviously, and if she rejects you, you know everyone deals with rejection in their own way, and if that's how you deal with it. That's that's you, buddy. Well, no, well, you did it's him, but it might not be the the right. Uh, personally, I wouldn't kill a woman. I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, I don't know about my constituents here, but I feel like that's a crime. I think we just need to look at both sides. I th the... There's both sides to every story. You know, there's, there's it's a, a crime. story that we're n that that yeah. 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 The, who defines crime? Uh, the police and the government. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. That you would allow such a big government to right. You know, you're very set up boundaries to and control, stuff. aren't you? Uh well, to live in a society. Are you, are you comfortable living in a society where there's people above you that just control you and well, tell you give you so, rules to live? Well, by? what technically I control them because I have the voting power well, that well, puts them into. Well, that's well, what Aaron, they want you to think. A, it's an illusion. Place, well, like, so, what happens yeah. then when the government comes to your front door and there's a there's a mandatory woman buyback? What happens then? I don't know what that is or means. Um, like, what if the what if the government comes and tries to take our women? Like, what are you going to do then? I don't know that the government would do that. Okay. Uh, Just like they didn't take our guns. Yeah, they took our guns. Now they're going to take our women, and now they're going to make us marry men. Well, technically, we can still own guns. It's still I legal. They're going to make us marry dogs. <laughs> 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 just turns into this like so weird don't kill debate. your girlfriends uh arthur at 1800 congress lane or whatever the fuck <laughs> i'd love i'd love to know the mental state of someone who reads a question so i've killed three women oh arthur interesting okay so oh. let's just let's just see what this one yeah, is let's about slow it down for a second <laughs> hey guys um before we get this episode started off um uh, we just have an announcement to make it's kind of a serious announcement and we want to let you know that we're both okay um but uh, Matt and I have both found out that uh, our penises are not as big as we thought they were. Um, it's it's a bit of a rough time. It's a bit of a hit to the kind of um, the channel. Yeah, um, we were a bit overconfident, and we uh, overstepped. Yeah, um, that 
that kind of level of confidence. But uh, we just want to let you know this is going to be the same podcast, um, just different sized penises. Um, yeah. So if we want to get back to the funny ha-has of the episode, we can we can do that. Okay. Okay, so after Drunk Drawing Live, the first show, Ross was very drunk. Ross had had two bottles of wine all to himself. I, I tried to help a little bit. Ryan tried to help Harrison out a few sips, but overall, Ross downed the majority of those bottles of wine mm -hmm. all by himself. Yep. And he was very, very drunk. I think he also had a shot of 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 rum he had or some something. Beer as well. Yeah. He mixed all kinds of alcohol that night. He was he was making a, a witch's brew, mm -hmm. and um, the show ends, and Ross is he's very gone. You can see it on his face. Like sometimes you look at someone and you're like, wow, they're drunk, just because you can see the look on their face. He's just not there. They're, his eyelids are heavy, he's stumbling around, and we're outside the venue after everyone's left, and there's a food truck selling mac and cheese. And Ross is like, oh, I get some mac and cheese, because when he gets drunk, his Australian accent comes out. Cheese and maccas, or whatever uh, some, they some, say. Some stupid Australian bullshit. So we go, and we buy Ross some mac and cheese, and he sits down with it on the bench. And he's like, oh, there's onions on this. I'm allergic to onions. So he starts trying to, like, wipe the onions off and then just knocks the whole thing on the ground upside down on the sidewalk of L.A. And he freaks out. So he scoops it all up back into the container off of the Los Angeles sidewalk. And that is L.A. sidewalks. That, that's nasty. Yeah, that is disgusting. They're, they're gross. They smell like pee pee. And he just starts eating it like like from the sidewalk. And uh, I didn't realize, I, I took a bite, because I, th I thought that I was eating from a section that didn't fall on the ground. And uh, Harrison ate some too. Turns out that it had all fallen on the ground. So I ate some off the sidewalk too. Um, and then the next day, I'm telling this story, and, and Ryan's like, you know, you can, get, you can get herpes from that. And I was like, what? And he's like, yeah. There's like an, an epidemic in Los <laughs> Angeles where the sidewalks are infested with but herpes. But it's not herpes. Is it hepatitis? Yeah, I think it's hepatitis. Some bad STD with an H. It's like uh, they have to bleach the sidewalks because there's so much of it. And I, I freaked out. I was like, oh, no. Am I going to get hepatitis from eating mac and cheese? Did you, stop, did you start looking up like hepatitis pics? I did. I, I was freaking out. I was like, I swear to Christ, if I get an STD from eating macaroni and cheese off the sidewalk. You're going to kill Ross. I'm going to kill that was, Ross. That, that, was, that was a reality. You were, you were fixing to mangle Ross's corpse. I was going to mangle him and turn him into a corpse and then mangle his corpse. Yes. I was pissed off. And I call Ross up later that day. I'm like, hey, Ross, I gotta, I'm just, as a friend, I feel like I should tell you this. You might have an STD because of it. We ate the mac and cheese off the <laughs> sidewalk. And, and he was like, are you fucking kidding me? Um, and, and then he got mad at me. I was like, Ross, I'm just trying to do my duty as a friend and inform you. I could just let you go on. I mean, even though it might be somewhat ill-informed, I'm just trying to help a brother out. I mean, Brent and Ryan were very adamant about this whole hepatitis, hepatitis sidewalk, sidewalk thing. thing. And I looked it up, and it's 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 real. I, I don't know if it's in L.A. Is it L.A. or is it somewhere? It's L.A., okay. man. They got to bleach the sidewalks in front of storefronts because there's, you're not supposed to walk barefoot on the sidewalks because of all the hepatitis. Damn. How does it even get on the sidewalk? How does hepatitis just get on the sidewalk? Someone accidentally just spilled a barrel of it. <laughs> on the sidewalk. It's a hepatitis truck going by and it crashed. <laughs> and it just spilled hepatitis everywhere. That's how superheroes are made. Hepatitis man? Either a hepatitis truck. It crashes and spills acid onto a poor child who then becomes hepatitis man. It spills just liquid hepatitis. <laughs> are you ready for a Halloween story, Matt? No, I'm ready. This is called... Ryan's trick or treating adventure. No, <laughs> I just scratch like Ryan, that. Ryan's trick or treating. Ryan's trick or treating. Okay, Ryan's trick or treating. This was back, I want to say, freshman year of high school. Freshman year of high school. You were still trick or treating in ninth grade. Probably. I did it until I was sixteen, guys. Sixteen was my last year, and I had hit my growth spurt by then. So everyone was like, people denied me candy, and I was like, you so asshole. you were a junior in high school. No, I was a sophomore. Oh, okay. But people would still be like, you're too tall. I'm not giving you candy. I'm like, fuck you. Okay, okay. Not cool. Continue. So, freshman year of high school. Um, I was in this kind of uh, friend group. The best way I can describe it is these two friends had a falling out. And uh, I filled in the puzzle piece for one of the other guys. I Actually, I would hang out with both of them. 
and they'd constantly talk shit about each other. But in my head, I'm like, oh, they're going to be friends again. <laughs> but so they were just hanging out with me, kind of like, I, I'm mad at this person. I need someone to vent to because I can't vent to them about it because I'm mad at them type of thing. And um, w one of them had uh, just just invited a bunch of people to go trick-or-treating. And uh, one of the girls I had a really big crush on that, that they invited. So I was like, this is my chance. And I was talking to my friend about like, do you think I have a chance with this girl? Like, do you think there's any realm of possibility? Like, should I even try to pursue this? And he was like, yeah, of course you should. You should definitely do that. I was like, okay. Um, so everyone comes over. And by everyone, I mean this girl, one of her friends, the two friends that hate each other and me. So that's the group. And uh, so we start trick or treating. I'm like, okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to just try to talk to this girl. So I go up and try to talk to the girl and everything's going fine. And uh, it seems like we're, we're hitting it off. Right. Um, little Ryan McGee's knocking it out yeah, of the damn ballpark. Yeah. I'm just like, yo, what's your favorite color? Oh, Ooh. that's not mine. Mine's blue. What's your favorite animal? Or you're supposed to lie and just say it's yours too. Yeah, you but know? you know. Damn, but, dude, Ryan, you're fucking hitting home runs here. I know. And then, um, and then the friend that told me I should go for it came from behind me and gave her a big old smooch on the mouth. Whoa. And then everyone started walking ahead and I'm like, what? And so... Basically, what it turned out, which I wasn't aware of, was these two friends made amends. And one of the friends was liking the girl's friend. And so the girl's friend brought the girl that I liked along with her. But then the girl's fr friend also liked the my friend's friend, who That's was also my friend. You lost me. <laughs> okay, so basically, okay, this is, this, is, this is hard to explain. It turned, okay, so the girl I liked, right? Yeah. She was, she was with that other girl who was invited by the one of, one of the friends gotcha. who liked her. Okay. Oh, okay. So it yeah. turned out to be a double date scenario that I wasn't aware of. Oh, Ryan. Like, ah. So basically the whole night it was the couples, literally I remember how far away. We were probably five car lengths away with me walking in the back. With my little trick or treat bag, just walking by yourself. I I didn't have a car. I couldn't drive home. What was I gonna do? Oh. <laughs> just so I was just walking behind like these these two couples now, like high school kind of like flirtatious couples, and I'm just like, well, this is a fun night. This is something else. Did you get some good candy? I got some good candy. That's good. Yeah. It was a very 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 unfortunate night for me though. That sucks, dude. I'm sorry. Really took a hit to my self esteem. I know. And then I was like, for, to my friend, I was like, what the f? And we were, we just stopped talking. It just kind of, we, we just. We need a redemption, Ryan. We got to get him on Super Mega and we got to ask him what the F he was thinking. He's the same person that introduced me to Smosh. Okay. And YouTube. So, okay. So he did do some good. In the beginning. In the beginning. Then he crushed your, crushed yeah, your heart. Yeah, this was a big backstab. That fucking sucks, dude. I'm sorry. Sorry about the confusing who's who. It's okay. I, I can't use names, of I course. I drew it out of my head with like a little like one of those like. All you need is the picture of me walking alone five car lengths back from two happy couples for, from which I thought we were just going to be in one big group having fun. But high schoolers are horny. So they want to be with the girls. That's true. I actually want to talk about conspiracy theories because. Ooh. I've always been a big oh. fan of conspiracy and, theories. And uh, for that, we brought, uh, I brought a special guest. You didn't. Come on, Matt Pat. <laughs> <laughs> what else? <laughs> Thank you, Matt Pat. <laughs> oh my god. I don't have any ill will towards Matt Pat. I just think a lot of the conspiracies are goofy. Of course. I have no ill will towards him. That that might have seemed like a slight. I just made a funny fart noise. I'm sorry. What if he I'm sorry, what if Matt. he fights you? Like you guys do a big boxing match? I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of He's you. He's a handsome dude. He is. I just feel like I'm not. I'm not trying to say anything about Matt Pat, but I feel like a lot of YouTubers are very vindictive, and they don't do much in revenge unless they're like Jake Paul or anything. But I don't think they do much in revenge in terms of like right in front of the camera. I feel like they 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 pull little chess moves. He's gonna he's gonna call up YouTube and like do some behind the scenes stuff and get our channel like less monetized. That I'm Ryan guy from Super Mega made fart noises when talking about me. <laughs> and why would it demonetize that channel? And he's going he's gonna to go to YouTube and, and go, look, I'm not going to upload 
another conspiracy video. Until until you fucking slit the throat of Ryan Elias McGee. More like Ryan Smelly Ass McGee. <laughs> Ow! Fuck! Stop! Stop! <laughs> I just beat me with a fucking pillow. I'm sorry. I'll beat you with my cock next, little man. Don't. No. Don't do that. I'll beat off. Okay, you sure? It's not in front of me. <laughs> Sapphire and faded jeans. I hope you get your dreams. Uh. You go ahead, let your head down. Thanks, baby. You're gonna find yourself somewhere. Okay, stop. <sighs> so sorry. It's fine. I just thought you liked it. Sorry. Thought you liked the singing, but uh, no, it's fine. Can I keep singing? Yeah, if you want. Sapphire and faded jeans. I hope you get your dreams. You go ahead, let your hair down. <laughs> what point of the podcast is this, Matt? This is the point where we're probably wrapping it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's just like we're both like I'm sitting here, like I'm just like uh, you're like slouched uh, over, and I'm just singing. <laughs> and you're like, all right, let's wrap it up. Yeah, I think it's about time. Yeah. wasn't it? Wasn't it spooky? I thought it was very spooky. <laughs> there, there's a jump scare. To that was a jump scare for everyone. Look at that waveform that's make on it, the screen. To make it more, what a brick of a waveform. To make it more spooky. So there, now you can't say, oh, I thought this wasn't, this wasn't a spooky mega podcast. Or the poor soul that <laughs> fell asleep listening to this. The poor soul who's behind a wheel while listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> He's driving like an 18-wheeler and just fucking flips it and kills a family. <laughs> It's plausible. It's possible, Ryan, it is. that you doing that could kill an entire family. I've thought about that. Like, whenever we'd, like, jump scare someone in the podcast unintentionally, like, with a sound effect, like, they're like, that scared me. I'm like, what if they just jerk the wheel to the side real quick? Or what if they're, like, in the kitchen cooking with a butcher's knife and they slice their finger off and then bleed out to death? That's that's the new Boo 3 thing. We gotta go write this down. We gotta go tell, we gotta go tell Terry. Terry Crews, he's gonna star. Come on. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a fantastic. Johnny, Johnny Depp can be Medea this time. Okay, Johnny Depp can play Medea. Scarlett Johansson will play Medea this time. Sapphire and faded jeans. I hope you get your dreams. Uh. You go ahead, let your head down. Thanks, baby. You're gonna find yourself somewhere. Okay, stop. Sapphire and faded jeans. I hope you get your dreams.